Hello, day 134. So I went in today for my infusion. My appointment was 10.30. Um, I went pretty much in, but then it took a while for them to get it. I think I got home like 12.30. So even, I was infused for about an hour, but there was padded time where we were waiting and connecting and doing blood work and all those things. My CBC came back. They do it there at the center. Not great. My white count was a little low, like the low end of the normal range is 5, and I think I was 3.7. So not horribly neutropenic, but not great. Um, but the thing that was more concerning to me was my hemoglobin, which was 7.9. Again, not catastrophic, but pretty low, and a fairly significant drop from last uh, three weeks ago. Three weeks ago, I was 9.7. So it dropped, um, and last and the last time we did a iron panel because we were concerned that it dropped, the iron was fine. So I think it's just this whole chemo thing wrecking me. Um, so no more chemo, but my hemoglobin's still dropping. I guess um, I just saw the n nurses in the infusion center, not the doctors, but I assume the doctors will look at the lab work. Um, also, if I continue to feel this exhausted, I might call back and see what we can do. Um, so I guess I feel a little better from the perspective of we have a reason for my exhaustion. So that's good, but not so good. Not sure why it's happening, but chemo in general wrecks all your blood. So I'm not panicked about it in, in general, but it's not great. <laughs> and definitely feel the worst after the sixth. And there was a drop between five was a drop and then six was a drop. Um, so, uh, and for those who don't know, the lower end of the normal range is 12 and I'm at 7.9, but if you are on, like if you're in kidney failure and dialysis, for example, they want the, 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 the high end to be 10 or 11. So 12 isn't a hard fast. That's the only thing, but it is kind of low. And I think in the past for Bill, if he was seven, they would transfuse. So we'll see. But I definitely do feel totally exhausted. And I could assume that it's because I'm not getting enough oxygen to my whole body. So I'll just continue to move slow for now. And I'm going to do some research about how to increase my red count. <laughs> anyway, that's all I got for today. Um, tomorrow's going to be a better day.